What's going on guys? Here for another shave for you guys and we will be using some Parasso products today. Um, this will be a full Parasso shave. This is my first shave that I actually have from beginning to end a Parasso shave. Um, there is a Parasso brush. I don't think they make any razors. I don't have any of the hardware but kind of like the software. So you can see a little bit, little bit of whiteness on the face. That is Parasso's pre-shave. You've seen this before. Um, you know that I have this soap. I've used this several times. This is a classic. I won't be using this today. I'll show you what I am using though. It's in this pack. <laughs> and I actually found this on Amazon. You can see right there, wood and spice. This scent is awesome. It's like a cedar wood. Um, it's a very, very nice scent. It comes in this pouch. I can't find it in any, any other way other than this pouch. And I think I've seen these pouches before, not necessarily from Parasso. But I've seen my barber actually put it in his little machine and it goes upside down and this little, this unscrews. And I think the machine like warms this or does something and it makes kind of like a foaming lather. Anyways, so I think that's what this, the whole point of this pouch is. Now, why don't they make wooden spice in a tub or cream or something? I don't know. But, well, this is a cream, but I mean like in a tube. Um... Yeah, very, very nice scent, extremely nice scent. So that's what we're gonna use today. And for the aftershave, just got this as well. I ordered both of these at the same time. Uh, both were purchased on Amazon and uh, relatively cheap as well. And this is what we're going with the uh, aftershave. Parasso's, it's sensitive, it's the sensitive balm. I don't believe that has any menthol, or I'm sorry, um, um, alcohol in it. So, all right, like we do with most of our creams, we're just gonna squirt a little bit out here. This is definitely different. Okay, you can kind of see it coming out there as I'm squeezing, so this is, this is different for me. Squeezing out of a tube. All right, we definitely have enough. I'm gonna actually let some recede from the suction. All right, we're good. We'll just use that. Uh, I'm not going to bowl lather it. I was thinking about bowl lathering it, but this is going to be kind of a quick shave. <clears throat> um, it'll be a two pass. I'm trying to get out of the door um, so I can go meet with, with my wife for food. Yeah, this was, I, I put far too much. <laughs> so it's not a very soft, it's a soft cream, but it's not like, it's not like the pre-shave, Parasso's pre-shave or other creams that I have. This is very, it's a very dense cream. It's very thick. Um, and that probably has something to do with how barbers use it. And, and, you know, the consistency has to do with that, I'm sure. But for what I'm doing here, next time I will bowl lather this because this is getting to be a bit of a mess. Okay, that's what we have on the fingers. I'm going to wipe that off real quick. Uh, extremely slick, I can tell you that. Yeah, my fingers... Come on. Okay. There we go. All right. We're using the Maggard Synthetic 30 millimeter uh, synthetic knot tuxedo, whatever you call it. So, yep, a full Parasso shave. Oh, yeah. This scent's very nice. I'll show you what happened to my straight razor. I actually shot a video last night. Today's my day off during the week. And um, I made a video last night on um, flattening some natural stones well a process of of flattening natural stones i actually just just flattened one of my stones which is my uh, true hard arc um so that'll be uploaded here in the next couple of days it's a long one um i'll explain kind of why in the video why it's so long and that type of thing but you know it's a long video and uh yeah you don't have to watch it if you don't want Yeah, scent on this stuff is nice. It's thick. It's creamy. It's definitely slick. 
All right. Let's go ahead and get going. Oh, so <clears throat> when I was moving some things last night, because like this whole counter right here is full of shaving stuff. Like this is my shaving den. And I need to do a den tour as well. But check that out. You kind of see like a glue dot there. That's super glue that I dabbed there. And then like while it was drying, I was kind of like moving <clears throat> this back and forth. This actually fell. And like the, the razor itself is fine, the, the metal. But this apparently fell on its tip there and it's supposed to be like that obviously and it kind of blew that piece away and I have no idea where it went <laughs> no idea I searched for a little while couldn't find it so Like I said, this is going to be a quick one. She'll be here soon. She actually had to go to work today for the first time. She's a teacher. The kids aren't there yet. This was kind of like a teacher's work day or whatever they call it. But I'm hoping baby comes before. Before the kids come. Because <clears throat> I don't like, I don't know. I just don't like the thought of her having to be around a bunch of kids. Because, you know, kids aren't necessarily affected by the coronavirus. <clears throat> like, I think the, the percentage of kids that have had fatal effects of the virus have been extremely low. But they're carriers. So, you know, due to the fact that they're able to carry that. And you know kids, they're around other kids when they're not at school. Was, was it the school in Georgia that opened this week or <clears throat> last week? And they had like 300 and something cases over a week after reopening for teachers and students. That's crazy. That's crazy. <clears throat> well, to me, that's crazy. <laughs> to other people, they may not find it so... So crazy. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I'm mainly getting the cedar off of this. I mean, there's a there's a little more there's a little chunk of a cream there there's a little more to it than just the cedar that i'm picking up but i can't really distinguish what it is i couldn't tell you what kind of spice or what kind of scent i'm getting other than cedar so that's probably going to be it as far as the lather goes <clears throat> Shouldn't have put so much. Um, it is, let me see. I think it was like 10 bucks on Amazon, guys. This whole thing. And it's 9.5 ounces. <laughs> That's a ton of cream for 10 bucks on Amazon. I mean, you're talking less than a dollar. I'm sorry. Well, it's 10 bucks plus shipping or with shipping. So just a little over a dollar per. Per ounce which is excellent. 
I don't even know if Colonel Conk is that good as far as price goes per ounce. <clears throat> I do believe this is a vegan soap. I don't think it's... I don't think it has any tallow. I could have also added much more water than I did to this. I mean, I'm in a rush. That's why I didn't, but you could definitely add a lot more water than I did. Hey, that is good enough to go out on a date with a pregnant lady. That's my wife. <clears throat> Just to kind of go over what we use there once again. <clears throat> we went with Parasso Wooden Spice Cream, um, kind of a thicker cream, much more dense than normal Parasso creams and normal creams in general. Went with the uh, Maggard Synthetic Tuxedo Knot, bunch of soap in there. I loaded way too much. The Gold Dollar Acrylic Scales 1996 straight um, pre-shave. Parasso's pre-shave here, and for the aftershave, Parasso's Sensitive Skin Balm. And again, this is my first time. I haven't even opened this yet. I don't know if uh, if the numbers on the bottom of this mean anything to anybody, but that's what's on the bottom of mine. 61017. Goodness, my hands are wet. I can't open this. Had to use a little towel for assistance there. It's, kind of, it's a very, very light, like a light lotion type scent. It's not, it's not heavy. And this looks very similar and has the same consistency as my Nivea, my Nivea Poche Balm. And the noise of the barking dogs indicate my wife is home. So this is perfect. I'll let this dry. We'll get in the car. And we'll go eat. I'll see you guys next shave. I appreciate you stay, uh, watching and stay tuned for some more videos, guys. Bye.